Cystitis, also known as the inferior urinary tract infection, is the inflammation of the bladder. Cystitis is more common in women because women's urethra is shorter than men's urethra and it is closer to the anus. The urethra is the last tubular structure of the urinary tract that conducts the urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. Women's urethra is about 4 cm long. Men's urethra is about 15 to 25 cm long. The most common cause of acute cystitis is bacterial infection, in many cases caused by a bacterium called Escherichia coli. Normally, the urinary tract is sterile. Sometimes bacteria from the skin can get into the urethra and migrate back up the urinary tract, causing urinary tract infections. The most important contributing factors are constipation, sex, low fluid intake, cold. Clinical symptoms include polycuria, which is an abnormally frequent urination, dysuria, which is pain or a burning sensation during urination, pain in the inferior abdominal region, cloudy urine, hematuria, meaning blood in urine, but this symptom is rare in cystitis. Fever is not a common symptom for cystitis. Your doctor might indicate a urine culture, which is a test that identifies the bacteria that cause cystitis. It is very important not to take any antibiotics before the urine culture, as this may lead to false negative results. This is how you should collect a urine sample. First, wash your hands and then your genitalia. Then collect some midstream urine, approximately half full of the sterile container that you will receive and take it to the laboratory analysis. The urine culture is usually associated with susceptibility testing to see which antibiotics will inhibit the development of the bacteria causing the infection. The result of urine culture is normally ready in 2-3 to three days because in these two or three days it is not known for sure which are the bacteria that cause the infection nor the right antibiotic, the doctor will indicate empirical treatment. Empirical treatment is the treatment prescribed before the definitive diagnosis is established based on doctor's medical observation and experience. After the result is ready, the doctor will indicate the most appropriate antibiotic for the infection. In some cases, the infection may progress with spontaneous healing. Most of urinary tract infections can be easily treated if they are addressed in time. If not addressed in time, complications may occur, such as the spread of the infection to the kidneys. This is why early diagnosis and treatment are so important.